वेलकम बैक टू हाफ टाइम रिपोर्ट ऑन सी एन बी सी टी वी एटी ना बामा लॉरी इज स्टॉक ऑन आर रेडार द कंपनी रिपोर्ट अ डिसेंट सेट ऑफ अर्निंग्स फॉर क्यू वन द रेवन्यूज एंड प्रॉफिट रिकॉर्डेड अ ग्रोथ दिस टाइम अराउंड दो द कंपनीज मार्जिन कॉन्ट्रैक्टेड ए रत्न शेखर हुज चेयरमैन एंड मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर एंड एडिशनल चार्ज ऑफ डायरेक्टर एच आर एट बामा लॉरी जॉइंस इज नाउ सर थैंक्स अ लॉट फॉर जॉइनिंग इन you know i want you have a lot of segments industrial packaging logistics services travels and vacations but i want to start with the travel segment is it back to pre covid levels and uh, what kind of growth do you expect here and what's the percentage of your business that comes from this segment yeah uh, actually after covid it started recovering uh, last quarter of last year last financial year was not very good but this financial year first quarter was really excellent and then which was actually shown turn around and then we were able to make a good margin also in travel and uh, because of international borders are opening though it is not fully open but we are upbeat about this and then we are looking forward for a uh, uh, substantial growth and then it will reach pre covid levels the, uh, by the year end that is what my hope and then we could uh, uh, make around uh, uh, 33 crores of turnover last two months and then it was really good basically yeah we understand that it was really good and we saw that in uh, the performance of all the travel companies as well so that's one good thing which is going on for you uh, but you know you also said that about uh, uh, i think about 18 or 20 months ago you had announced the 400 crore capex plan with regards to all temperature controlled warehouses etc in uh, various parts of the country delhi hyderabad mumbai what exactly is the update on that how much has been deployed and uh, what have these warehouses contributed in terms of revenue so far yeah uh, actually as per our plan we have uh, uh, fully commissioned our uh, temperature control warehouses in hyderabad patal ganga uh, rai and recently we have uh, started our bhuvaneshwar uh, under the act east uh, government policy and we are actually uh, under undertaking some studies to uh, maybe uh, go ahead with uh, temperature control warehouses in kolkata as well as uh, maybe gauhati and then bangalore ahmedabad it all uh, depends on the project report and then maybe covid has delayed little bit of our plans <coughs> then we are on track now and uh, maybe coming 2 3 years uh, or 4 years time we are uh, targeting around 100 crores revenue from uh, tcw temperature control warehouse business and around 10 crores uh, profit from these businesses okay so that's on the temperature control business but uh, overall on the revenue front you are sitting on a base of around 650 crores in quarter 1 that's a growth of 33% what kind of average do you think you can do over the next few quarters uh, uh actually uh, we are uh, hoping to keep up the same momentum of 30% growth from the last quarter to this quarter so i am hoping to close this year by 2500 crores if things goes well 2500 crores and what happens to your margins then because you know this year we've seen a decline in margins we've seen an increase in costs freight costs uh, most notably etc so where do those margins uh, stand by the end of this year on a 2500 crore revenue base no your uh, your point is well taken and then the cost of service is increased and then there is lot of uh, 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 challenges in getting raw material for example lithium hydroxide which was to ukrainian war or the because of war it was around 5 to 500 to 600 which became around 6000 rupees i'm just giving you one particular raw material so the margins are uh, going to be little bit challenging but we are hopeful and then we will be able to make around 200 crores by the year end that's my uh, take on this okay uh, okay uh, what about the potential for the visakhapatnam logistics park uh actually uh, uh, we are actually awaiting for container freight station license there once the uh, this is under active consideration by government of india under gati shakti plan of uh, prime minister i mean government of india we are trying for this license once again once it comes in then uh, the performance will be very good there ma'am we so are just awaiting for the container freight station license from government of india and in the non logistics non travel business you have that steel drum manufacturing business right what exactly is your market share there what is the expected 34% we are having 34% market share and then uh, last year uh, we could uh, cross 850 crores and 50 crores profit from industrial packaging segment this year also we are we will be somewhere there 850 to 900 crores and then i am expecting around 60 crores of profit from that segment so with all of this happening for you everything looking good to 2500 crores in terms of annual revenue uh, over 200 crores of ebitda that you are guiding for this year what's the update on privatization have you heard anything because i do understand that uh, you know uh, there were a lot of uh, uh, banks advising the government for this 
yeah no update basically uh, government of india announced its policy and so we are also awaiting for updates from government but it it was told that we will be under uh, disinvestment but then further no updates on this okay further no updates on this all right we leave it at that thanks a lot for joining us and have a great day that's bama lorry the revenues have gone up and they've recently started their bhubaneswar facility as well the stock is up almost about 2 or percent let's live into a quick break on the other end we'll connect with sandeep sikka the chief financial officer